get ready. Okay. So you guys, for the first, if you don't know me, you don't know who I am. My name is Jay Stone. I know it looks like Jai, but it's actually Jay. Um, and I am a master brand strategist. I've been building brands for uh, 20 plus years, been an entrepreneur for 20 years. And uh, this month, I've been really talking to my community. So if you're not part of the brand candy community, you're here specifically for the pop up that I've been uh, creating lately around memberships, then welcome. OK, so let's talk a little bit, just a few minutes about memberships, and then I'm going to get into the landing pages portion today. Uh, go ahead and tag your friends or share this broadcast uh, with them and invite them to the community. And so uh, memberships. So memberships are kind of the modern day uh, scale one to many. Right. So if most of your coaches or consultants, you can only help one person at a time. Right. Which means that you're going to be limited, one, with how many people you can help and two, how much money you can earn while helping those folks. OK. And so group coaching or group consulting or events were the big craze uh, over the past 10 years. And now people are moving, particularly with the pandemic, they're moving into the membership space. That means you can scale one to many, you can add a lot of folks and you can continue to scale, but it's the same amount of work, right? It's the same amount of content. It's the same amount of marketing, no matter whether you have one people or 100,000 people. Uh, the only thing that grows is your bank account, basically, and a little bit more customer support. So I've talked about building your email list yesterday. Earlier in the week, I talked about the different types of uh, website, I mean, uh, memberships. Today, we want to focus on landing pages. And I felt like landing pages needed its own thing. Okay. And so I'm specifically talking about landing pages for memberships. And I'm going to go over, I'm going to go over my landing page and we'll talk about how it converted. All right. So let me share my screen. All right. <clears throat> Again, this is something that I really, uh, these are the kind of courses I teach in my brand candy membership, uh, but I'm doing, I'm sharing it a little bit bigger this time because there's an opportunity for people outside the membership. All right. So let's talk about bankable landing pages. So the, uh, Object, the training objectives today are number one, why do you need a landing page? Number two, the look and feel of the landing page. And then I'm also going to go over uh, some landing page platforms and some essentials that you need on your landing pages. Okay. So, why do you need a landing page? All right. So, number one, you need a landing page to increase your customer focus. OK, so a lot of times if they click somewhere on the website, there's other things on the website that might distract them. OK, so we want them to focus on this one thing that we're going to buy. OK, one focus, single focus. It also is to answer unspoken questions. OK, unspoken questions. So because you're marketing to people online, you don't have the benefit of standing in front of them saying, hey, you know, overcoming objections. That's the traditional sales language. Right. We overcome their objections. If they say, I don't have the money, you know, you have to actually address those questions that pop up in their head and put them on a landing page so that they are more inclined to buy. It also starts to create the customer experience. When people visit your landing page, it's an extension of what they can expect from joining your program, buying your product or buying your service, okay? So you want to start to create the customer experience right out of the gate. And we also want to inspire urgency. And I'll talk a little bit about an element that inspires that urgency. Um, so let's talk about some landing page platforms, okay? And I'm going to talk to you about the industry leaders that I know specifically um, work for my clients, one, and two, uh, the ones that I've worked and had uh, lots of experience with, okay? So here, the first thing you got to do is what do you consider when doing a landing page? Do not just jump on the bandwagon and buy a landing page or get into a landing page for 
because everybody else is getting on the landing page. I made that mistake early on and I ended up with some platforms that just didn't work for how I work, didn't work for how I move, they were more complicated. So you got the techie folks, you know what I'm saying? You joined all the groups and all the salespeople and they're techie or they can hire the techie people. And then you're in the weeds trying to figure it out, right? So here's the things you need to consider. One, what do you need your platform to deliver? Meaning, are you going to deliver a course? Are you going to deliver a product? Or are you going to deliver a membership? Okay. Because what you're going to deliver on the back end makes a big difference as to what you choose for a landing page platform. And I'll talk about that. You also, so you need to be clear what you plan to deliver the most, right? Because digital products versus a course versus a product versus a membership, all right, are going to need different functionalities. So don't think in terms of just one landing page, right? Think in terms of what are your core offerings that you're going to need landing pages for? Because you'll be using this multiple times, okay? The other thing is the sales process, right? The sales process. So are you going to be creating a funnel, which means they click here and they go here and then when they uh, click buy, it takes them into here and then it takes them over. What's your sales process? You kind of need to map that out. What experience do you want your people to have? Okay. Before you choose your landing page platform. And then something that is very popular is called upsells. Okay. That means if I'm going to buy a $47 product and I click, I click buy. And then as I'm leaving, something else pops up and say, Hey, we see that you purchased that. This other thing will also go well and it's only $22, that's an upsell, right? So if you're gonna do upsells, um, well, that's a downsell technically, but it's still selling them something additional, okay? So if you're gonna do upsells or downsells or um, selling something additional or wanting them to make an additional action, that makes sense. Uh, that's important because all landing page platforms don't give you that functionality, okay? So you need to know what you need the sales process to look like and also what you're selling okay this is very important then you need to know something like if you want something where it's like courses or memberships or products and it has landing pages built into it so if you are going to do say something like shopify because you're doing physical products does shopify have landing pages built in or do they have a plug-in you know kajabi and thinkific set are good for like courses they both have landing pages built in OK, so do you want a built in landing pay a platform uh, based on your deliverables? This is why you've got to know what you want to deliver. Right. Or do you want something standalone like a click funnels? Right. So click funnels is probably one of the most successful landing page platforms out there. Right. It does upsells. It plugs into everything. It integrates with everything. So it's a very, very popular one. Um, I use insta page because my stuff needed to be pretty um but as i'm shifting right as i'm shifting i'm looking for something new because insta page doesn't have the functionality for like upsells and customizations that i need but currently i use insta page because my pages need to be pretty because of what i'm doing click funnels is not quite as pretty but it converts better okay and at the end of the day you want conversion but there's other ones out there okay so my current membership landing page, I use Kajabi and um, I use the Kajabi landing page. OK, I use the Kajabi landing page for my current membership. All right. But there's also CRMs that have landing pages. So CRM, that's customer relationship matter, that's technically a robust email system where you can email people. Um, and so Infusionsoft, which is now called Keep, that's one of the more popular ones simply because it allows people to do more analytics. So if they click and they buy and it adds them to a list, it can tag them for that list and then go back later. You can email them the person for the upsell, blah, blah, blah. Very complex, complicated. OK, however, highly effective, depending on what you're selling. Right. Infusionsoft is one of those things where it's going to be a huge learning curve. Um, and or you have to hire experts to do it. And that's the same thing for Entreport. A little bit cheaper, a little bit easier, but has a lot of the same functionality. 
I currently use Active Campaign, and they have recently just added landing pages. Now, the landing pages are not very beautiful, not very robust yet. I expect them to improve on that. However, their CRM is absolutely my favorite. Um, it's been easy for me to use. It's been easy for my team to use. It was uh, their automations are amazing. Um, and so I've enjoyed that platform immensely. I've watched it grow. I've grown with it. So that's it. So I use um, Active Campaign and Instapage. And um, I've done some affiliate links in the groups for you guys if you want to check out some of these things. Okay. So now let's talk about the look and feel, designing the landing page, because this is going to be important, right? There are a lot of folks that say ugly landing pages convert better. Well, it depends on your audience. I have a nitpicky, what the fuck is this bullshit type of audience. They're not buying nothing if the landing page is trash. They're not. Okay. So I want to talk to you about pretty pages that convert. All right. So let's talk about the look and feel. So these are some things from a structure perspective that are super important. And you guys can go ahead and start dropping your questions in the comments, okay, here shortly, because once I'm done uh, walking you through my own landing page, um, I'll answer some questions. Okay, so in the look and feel, number one, it should not look like a website, okay? It should not look like a website, meaning there should not be a menu across the top. OK, there should not be a sidebar. Remember, our purpose is to keep people focused so that they don't get distracted. OK, we don't want them to click over here and be like, oh, what is this over here? Oh, squirrel. Oh, squirrel. We don't want that. Right. We want them to stay focused on what it is that we're trying to put in front of them. So no sidebar and no side menu, no top menu, no sidebar. OK, um, your important content, things that you need people to pay close attention to should be to the right side of the page if you're in the U.S., okay? Because people read left to right. So for people who read traditional English, you read left to right. So when you read left to right, left gets your attention, right keeps your focus. Write that down. Left gets your attention, right keeps your focus. So things on the left side of the page are grab attention. But when they read, they land on the right, and that's where the attention stays, okay? So you wanna put your important content on the right side of the page. And then also make sure that your buy button stands out, like it's a different color. I know when I first started branding and stuff, it was so funny because my buttons, I would make my buttons match, okay? The rest of the branding pages. And so it was just blending into the page. So somebody was like, what the hell is this, Jstone? Right. And somebody critiqued and they were like, your buttons need to be a different color, need to pop out. People need to be able to see it. OK. All right. So here's some other key elements. And I want you guys to take a picture of this screen, come back to it because this is important. All right. You need to have authentic images. And so while I do have some brand uh, friendly images, I was very intentional with this. My videos and photos from the brand candy. Um, Website were taken with my mobile phone. Uh, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and I have studio lights in my house and I sat right here and did those videos. Um, now, all smartphones, Androids, iPhones are not equal. But for me, the Note 20 and higher, um, and then I think the latest version of the iPhone also has the ability to have a really high end look. Um, but I wanted to shoot at home. I didn't want to shoot in a big, expensive studio. I wanted people to relate to me. So my videos and my images are very authentic. That means there's a lot of photos of me just doing what I naturally do, silly looks, silly faces, um, at speaking events, things like that. This is about building trust, okay? If you're too shiny and too polished, sometimes it can come across as untrustworthy. Right. OK, so I needed to have an element of authenticity. You've got to have testimonials for your clients. The biggest trend right now is screenshots. Right. Screenshots don't lie dot com. OK, because I can take a testimony and make it really, really pretty and say that people said this and put a pretty graphic and a pretty photo next to it. But that's not as trustworthy as if I take this screenshot and drop it on here and you see what people are saying in their own words. It's not me making it up. Right. You got to have branded graphics and people think they need to have branded graphics to look professional. But another reason you want to have branded graphics is if your stuff is great, people will steal your shit. 
So put your little logos and stuff on things so that it looks branded for you. Also, it's the next level of professionalism. Okay. It's the next level of professional professionalism. Um, you need to have videos. So I used something called video peel, P E E L. I sent out the link and people could record videos directly from their cell phones for me. I also request videos, whether I'm going to sell a project now or later, I also request people, Hey, shoot a video for me. Um, if you have time as a testimonial. So those videos are great. Even if they raggedy, they got back background noise. It's authentic. Okay. It's authentic. Um, you've got to have some sections in there that are really important, right? Who should buy? You have to say who this product is for, who this service is for. You should buy this if, okay. Also make sure you are very specific about what's included. A lot of people say, just take this class, but there's no rundown of what's in the class. The most effective landing pages will say, Hey, and module one will cover a, B and C and module two will cover C, D and F. That's important to tell people what they're buying. And the higher the price point, the more details. The longer or bigger the investment, the more details. So you can't have a sales page that's too long because the people who really want to know will read all that crap. The key will be to have clean dividers, like you know, a graphic, a line, a video, things so it doesn't feel like it's long. But you want to answer every possible question. Make sure you include the price right? The price is easy to find and you have buy here several times. And also a FAQs, um, a frequently asked questions, questions that you get all the time. Go ahead and put that in a section. And I always include a countdown if I have a limited time on things, um, simply because it, it, that's the thing that, remember, I told you to increase the urgency. That's the thing that will increase the urgency. So let me show you a little bit of my, of my uh, landing page here. All right, so this is the brand candy landing page. And I'm specifically talking about landing pages for memberships because landing pages for products and digital products and all that will be slightly different, okay? So um, if I look here at the brand candy logo, it gets their attention, but I want them to focus on the join now, right? And then here is the countdown that I mentioned to you. And this is not active right now. We'll be launching Brand Candy again next month. Um, but when it comes up, this will be a countdown. Okay. Again, join now. And so while this picture is interesting, what's most important here is the description of what the Brand Candy portal is. Okay. And all of these 3D images, um, I used a software to make sure that my brand was present on these pictures and I'll drop it in the comments. And then here's a, well, a video, okay? I'm not gonna show that right now, but this is just a, hey, this is what Brand Candy is type of video. Um, and so what Brand Candy is, is, is I have a Canva, I sell templates, business templates. Um, for a monthly fee, you get business templates and business training every month. And so this is an example of some of the templates, but people will steal these. So I got brand candy all everywhere, the background, the foreground. These are my templates, not anybody else's. So that's what I mean when I say brand your graphics. Um, here is something that was important. Now, normally you would put the image on the left side. Remember left side grabs the attention, um, right side keeps the focus. But in this case, I wanted to keep the focus on the right side. And here's why, let me let you see this a few seconds of this video. All right. Time to level up. Right. So what I wanted to do was to give people a little bit of that authenticity that we talked about, which is folks um, seeing that, hey, she looks interesting. She looks exciting. She looks fun. This is someone I can hang out with. That's helping to build that trust, right? I tell them specifically what they're going to get right? That's a brief description. It goes into more detail. Um, and here are those screenshots. I made them into a pretty graphic, but they are actual people screenshots and what they had to say. Okay. Some of you guys might even recognize your names here. All right. Here's another branded graphic. Um, I tell people how it works every month. And then who is this for? 
right? Remember the who is it's for section needs to be in there. And then um, what you can use the membership for. And again, the green button, that green button that stands out. And then I gave more visuals. This is what some of the bundles look like, okay? These are mine. Then I went through more testimonials. Then what you get inside the membership, right? All the different types of templates. Here's some more authentic. This was one of my speaking engagements and these are me and my speakers. So they'll have master classes from some of these brand legends. All right. And then we're back to those branded graphics for the resource library. Uh, here's a preview. I did a preview video of what I'm actually selling. So that's important. Right. So there's just a video of what some of the graphics, the templates look like. OK. All right. And then here are the written testimonials. And then the bonuses, again, the graphics are branded. And then here's why, here's where I get into the details of what they're going to get. Bullets, boom, specific. And then that, that, that join brand candy uh, button is a little, is a different color. And here's where I did the video peel videos. Now I did a um, thumbnail, so it looks professional, but these videos, listen, let me just click them. Hey y'all, Roberto here, and I am here today to talk about brand candy. Now, if you okay, so Roberto's sitting right in his house. Here's Winifred, right? Hi, my name is Winifred A. Winston. I am the CEO and founder of. Dis so these people just did what was what worked for them. Brand candy by Brand Master Strap. All right, and I just wanted you guys to see that the videos are not Hi, perfect. I'm Dr. Sam Price. And you know, I just did the thumbnails to make them look good. But these are video peel is what did those um, again more. And then we get now to the individual print plan and how much it is. And then here are client designs. So people say, I can't do that. But these are designs that my clients actually did. All right. So showing where clients who actually got results is a great thing. Showing actual results is a great thing. And look. The J Stone, who am I? It's way down at the bottom because I want people to be more impressed with what they're getting and the results that they have before they even deal with me. And this is, and then my credibility jumps in. And then at the very bottom is the frequently asked questions. Okay. Now, if you're not only on the already on the um, brand candy wait, wait list, I think if you go to join brand candy, um, yeah, if you go to joinbrandcandy.com, uh, this is how you get on the wait list. Now look at the landing page for the wait list, okay? And it tells you it's closed, right? But you can still join the wait list. It's a little snippet of what they can get, they're gonna get when they join is this uh, Canva design and they just put in their information. Okay. So that's the landing page for the wait list. I talked about wait list yesterday. Um, and then I showed you the, the landing page for the actual program. So I'm about to wrap up. So let's see if there's any other questions about landing pages. Okay. What platform do I use for landing pages? So normally I use Instapage, but for the membership, I used Kajabi's landing page, built-in landing page, because I wanted it to just be a real simple integration. And that's why you kind of got to know what platform you're going to use and what you need the platform to do before you try to jump in and do and, and start with the landing page. Okay. Um, do you need to make sure that the CRM landing pages can work together? Yes, Dr. Misha. Uh, you do need to make sure that the CRM landing page can work right along with um, the, the thing. Um, any thoughts, somebody said, uh, with, I'm sorry, with your CRM. Any thoughts on Kartra? So I've heard good things about Kartra. Um, their membership platform was pretty ugly um, and not very, easy to navigate. I think the platform itself is great, but I think that the, um, I didn't like it for memberships for me personally. Okay. Um, 
so let me guys tell you guys about this. Um, so you guys, if you're not signed up, you need to go ahead and get signed up for the workshop for tomorrow night. If you're inside the community, go ahead and click the workshop link from Stu McLaurin because Stu is the person like he from my, my brand candy landing page. Um, he gives you like samples of landing pages, like not in the free workshop, but when I took the course, um, he gave me samples of my landing page. It told me exactly what, um, exactly what my, my, uh, wait list pages needed to look like things like that. And so he's got a free course coming up here. Okay. He's got a free course coming up here tomorrow. Um, and it will definitely, it's either tomorrow or the day after, but it's, it's, it's amazing in terms of what you learn for free. It's amazing in terms of what you learn for free in the course. And then I highly recommend if you're going to do a membership, then you want to take his course. And you guys know, I don't promote that many people, but I'm promoting this guy. So, um, I, I think I've dropped the link, uh, in my email. If you're on the email list a few times, uh, for the people on YouTube, uh, if you're not on my email list, I'll have to, uh, drop it in the comments on the YouTube videos but go ahead and sign up for that. Uh, here's a couple other questions I'm going to go ahead and answer. It says, my question is not about landing pages, but brand candy, do you offer the price for the year? I don't have annual, I did not have annual prices initially, but I think in this launch, I am going to do an annual price. Okay. I think I will do an annual price. Uh, uh, do you connect the landing page to your website direct to your audience? Uh, to your website? No. So that's a great question, E. Brown. So um, I do a vanity URL. So just like you could say joinbrandcandy.com and it puts you on the wait list. Um, I find that it's easier to do that than to say jstone.com forward slash brand candy. They can't remember all that. They can't keep up with all that. So I make it something catchy, you know, like I want candy.com. Um, I think it's I want brand candy takes you to the landing page. So I do vanity URLs versus the website. Even if it's on my website, even if the landing page is on my website, I prefer to use vanity URLs. Okay. Um, it says I have convert kick CRM, but not easy to use. Yeah. I, I, I didn't love convert kit. I didn't. Um, active campaign has been my boo for, uh, probably about six years now. And I've not been disappointed with what it does, how it works at all. Now, I will say this for the heavy marketers, you know, you want to, if you got a lot of funnels and you need a lot of automations and things like that, definitely start to look at Infusion, Infusionsoft and Entreport. Uh, however, you're going to have a massive learning curve, which I didn't have time for. Um, and you, or you're going to have to hire somebody who has the skill set specifically need somebody on staff to build that out. Right. Um, I came from a MailChimp background and the transition over to active campaign was super, super simple for that. Um, this is fantastic. Thank you. I launched a nonprofit. How should we use our landing page? We're raising funds to send children to school in Uganda. So right now, uh, my focus right now is the memberships. So I only focus this time on memberships and how uh, we use a landing page for memberships. Now, if you want to join Brand Candy and look at some of the other trainings and things like that, um, we don't deal with fundraising specifically. Um, we deal with building content to attract an audience. So that's what I'm going to say. All right. So. Any more questions before I bounce out of here? Guys, make sure that you sign up for the list. And if you've already signed up for the, the, um, the workshop, make sure that you actually go in and confirm. I've got a lot of people who got hits, like you clicked on it, but you didn't actually confirm your email address so you could be on the list to get notified when it starts. So we want to make sure that you get notified when it starts. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be very active in this pop-up shop for those who are taking the workshop. Work I'm going to be very active in the pop-up community um, to kind of talk you guys through the workshop because it's going to be spectacular. And I'm going to catch up with you guys on the flip side. I'm getting out of here. Don't forget to sign up and we'll catch you on the flip side.